Good evening. Uh, it's a real pleasure for me to welcome uh, to the Prime Minister's residence here in Jerusalem someone who I've known and respected for uh, well over two decades, uh, America's National Security Advisor, John Bolton. Uh, John, your visit to Israel gives us an opportunity to do two things. First, it gives us an opportunity to thank the uh, Trump administration for the extraordinary support you've shown Israel. Uh, President walked away from the dangerous Iran deal and reimposed sanctions. That's number one. That's important to America, to Israel, to the world. And everybody who wants to stop Iranian aggression respects that deeply. Secondly, the president decided to recognize uh, Jerusalem as Israel's capital and moved uh, the embassy here, a historic decision, uh, which we welcome. And we welcome, uh, every time I see Ambassador Friedman here, I said, well, it's a short ride at least. So we welcome him <laughs> along with your entire delegation. Third, uh, you've unequivocally backed Israel at the United Nations, uh, and that's uh, something that again, is deeply appreciated by uh, all Israelis and all friends of Israel around the world. And you have backed, uh, both in word and deed, Israel's right to defend itself, which we exercise constantly. It's important to know that we have uh, the backing of our great friend and ally, the United States of America. Uh, tomorrow, if uh, weather permits, we'll go up to uh, the Golan Heights. Uh, again, depending on the weather, uh, the Golan Heights is tremendously important for our security, uh, and I think that uh, uh, when you're there, you'll be able to understand perfectly why we'll never leave the Golan Heights and why it's important for that all countries recognize Israel's sovereignty over the Golan Heights. I've discussed this with the President, and I hope I have a chance to show it directly to you tomorrow on our visit. And if we can't fly there, I'll say it again to you. I want to welcome you and your delegation to thank you once again for your extraordinary support. Welcome, friend. Thank you. Thank you. Well, Mr. Prime Minister, thank you so much. It's a great pleasure to be here again in Jerusalem. Great uh, to see you again. Um, Jerusalem is such a fascinating city, such a historic city, and is now known among other, uh, among its other attributes as. Uh, the home of the American Embassy to Israel, as you said. What, what a remarkable achievement that you and President Trump worked out to actually bring the embassy to the capital of Israel. Um, it was one of uh, President Trump's campaign promises, and uh, he was determined to make it a reality and work so closely with you to, uh, to achieve it. Um, I think, in fact, uh, uh, Prime Minister, under your leadership with President Trump, we now have the best U.S.-Israel relationship in our history. Uh, and uh, on our side, we're certainly determined to continue that because the leadership that's necessary in what is increasingly, I think, a very critical time for security here in the Middle East uh, and for uh, us uh, around the world uh, requires that strong bond and strong uh, leadership that you and the President provide. We've got the continuing threat of Iran's quest for deliverable nuclear weapons. And despite getting out of the Iran nuclear deal, despite the sanctions, we have little doubt that Iran's leadership is still strategically committed to achieving deliverable nuclear weapons. The United States and Israel are strategically committed to making sure that doesn't happen. Uh, and right on your border, we have the problem of the conflict in Syria. We're going to be discussing uh, the President's decision to withdraw, but to do so uh, from northeast Syria in a way that makes sure that uh, ISIS uh, is defeated and is not able to uh, uh, re revive itself uh, and become a threat again, uh, and to make sure that the uh, defense of Israel and our other friends in the region uh, is absolutely assured, uh, and to take care of those who have fought with us against ISIS and other terrorist groups. You know, it's for the United States, um, a sovereign nation's ability to defend itself is the ultimate mark of sovereignty. And President Trump has said repeatedly that he backs Israel's right to self-defense. Uh, he says it proudly and unequivocally. 
I would just say to any nation, whether in this region or not in this region, that has any doubt about America's support for Israel's self-defense, they better think about it again. So, Prime Minister, I'm uh, really grateful for you and all of your team's uh, uh, time today and the discussions we've had. They've been very wide-ranging. Uh, I think helped strengthen the relationship that you and President Trump have and our two nations have. And it's just a delight to be here again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.